Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Revernos. In today's video, we'll be talking about whether or not you should learn Python in 2025. Python is one of the world's most popular programming languages, but it's been around for a long time, which begs the question, if you're just now learning how to program, should you still learn Python or is there a better alternative that you should go with? That's what we'll be talking about in today's video, and we're going to start by talking about the first reason that you should learn Python. And that reason is because there's still a lot of demand for people that know Python. We're looking at data from Statista here, which shows the most in-demand programming languages by recruiters worldwide in 2024, and Python is at the top of the list. JavaScript is up there, and JavaScript and Python really have different use cases. If you're more into data analytics, data science, artificial intelligence, then you'll probably go more the Python route. But if you're more interested in front-end web development, you'll probably be better serve at something like JavaScript. But Python still ranks number one as the world's most in-demand language. So if you want to learn a language where there are a lot of recruiters and prospects for that language, then Python is probably the way you should go. Another reason you might consider learning Python in 2025 is because it is a very user-friendly language. If you look at the screen here, you'll see the Hello World in Java on the left and the Hello World in Python on the right. And you can see that the Hello World in Java is much more complex than it is in Python. In Python, it's simply one line, print hello world. In Java, you have to set up your class and then set up your main function before you can run your code. Hello world is a very simple program. In fact, it's the first program that many people learn to write. So it's going to be simple in any language you look at. But these two examples here just highlight how much user-friendly Python really is, especially when compared to an older, more established language like Java. Another benefit of learning Python is that Python is the most commonly used language in fields like data science and especially in artificial intelligence. So if you're looking to get your foot in the door at one of these AI companies or you want to be a data scientist, Python will more than likely be the preferred language at that company. R is also very popular in this space and there are some others that are gaining traction, but so far Python continues and looks as though it will continue to dominate in the AI space. If we scroll through the most popular AI programming languages in 2025, we'll see that Python is number one on the list, R comes in second, and then Java, and then Julia. Python has a long list of use cases and is one of the most versatile programming languages in the world. You can use Python for data analytics, you can use it for web development, you can use it to access a database, you can use it for scientific computation, you can use it to create games. We actually have a Pi game tutorial on the channel, so make sure you check that out. And I'll also be revamping that in 2025. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss that upload. And you can also use it for machine learning and artificial intelligence. And because it's so beginner friendly, it's often used in education and it's one of the first programming languages that people are taught in schools now. Piggybacking off of that same point, there are so many different libraries you can use within Python across a wide variety of use cases. You can use pandas and numpy for data analysis. You can use Seaborn and matplotlib for data visualization. You can use TensorFlow for machine learning, or you can use Keras for deep learning. And all of these libraries are well maintained and taken care of by an open source community that is very active and continually has updates in this space. Now let's talk about some of the reasons against why you should learn Python in 2025. Number one is Python isn't as fast as a lot of other languages, and so if your use case requires something to execute extremely quickly, then Python might not actually be your best choice for that use case. This may be more just a fact of life than an actual argument against Python, but if you're interested in mobile development, then Python really won't help you too much in that use case. The two languages that dominate mobile development are Java if you're interested in Android development or Swift if you're interested in iOS development and I have a lot of Swift content on my page so make sure you check that out. But if you're interested in mobile development then Python probably is not the way to go. Another argument people have made against Python which will likely be more true in the future than it is currently is that so many people are learning it that it's now sort of getting devalued as a scale and there's an oversaturation of people with this scale. I think this argument gets sort of washed out by the fact that there's still a lot of demand for people that know Python, so I don't think we've really hit that point of oversaturation yet. But as there are more and more people continuing to develop this skill, that might be something to keep an eye on. 
Another argument I've also heard against why you shouldn't learn Python at this point is because there are, are tools that are becoming more and more popular that require no coding at all. I have Alteryx here. I have no affiliation with this company. It's just an example of a low-code or no-code analytics solution. And we've also seen some low-code and no-code website development solutions coming up in the market. These tend to be expensive and you have to get a license from the company. So I really don't see growth in these interfering with people learning Python or other programming languages. But this is something that I've heard people say that they would rather prefer to do this than learn Python. So overall, I still think you should learn Python in 2025. It is still a very much in-demand skill across a lot of industries and you can still get a really high paying job that requires Python. And we have a lot of Python programming content on our channel. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads because I'll be posting a lot more Python and iOS development stuff in the future. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.